Hey guys, thanks for coming back to On The Go Crypto. We are going to talk about Caspa's Tier 1 exchange listing, what it's going to be, what it's definitely not going to be, and why. You guys want to stick around for this one because there's some facts and some details in here that even those out in the Caspa community aren't really talking about that much. You know, I'm not the only one that's saying it, but I'm one of the few for sure. So stick around for this, guys, because I can tell you what tier one exchange listings are going to happen first. I want to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you for subscribing and liking. I appreciate all your support, guys. Please do give the video a quick like for me. It's all I ever need from you guys, and it gives me a tremendous amount of support. Thank you very much for that support. Let's get started here. Caspa, today on the daily, six cents, doing great. As always, as always, we're in the all time price discovery territory here, guys. Seems to be a monthly thing for Caspa. You know, we take profits and do a cool off for maybe 30 days, and then boom, we're right back into price discovery territory again. Congratulations to all the holders. But let's get into the details because what do we want to know? We want to know what tier one exchange listing is coming first. Well, let's start with what tier one exchange listing is not coming first, and we'll isolate it from there, okay? So, for those of you that don't know, Caspa, here's the all time chart, came out summer of last year. It was largely funded by Polychain Labs. Now, we look here, go to the main website, Caspa. If you see a tiny little feature they have at the top, Caspa Wiki, it's great. Not a lot of projects have this kind of detail. Uh, to let you search their origins, basically. So you click that, it brings up this Caspa Wiki window. Come over here to the sidebar, go to prehistory, click prehistory, it'll sort you down. And this is the origins of Caspa. This is very important. Okay. This first line says it all. DAG Labs, which is what Jonathan Sampolinsky founded, that created Caspa. DAG Labs, founded in 2018 by Jonathan and backed by, mainly is the key word here, mainly, Polychain. Now, Polychain, and then Lesser, it has some details, but we can stop right here, guys. Polychain. Polychain is directly funded and supported by Coinbase. Not a lot of people know that. I'm not sure why it's a secret. Maybe it's just sort of an unspoken thing, but Coinbase directly funds polychain so when polychain directly funds a project it is being invested in indirectly by proxy by coinbase now if we go back to coin market cap which we all know is owned by binance okay binance owns coin market cap cz owns both of them this ranking by market cap is incorrect 210 that is they are purposefully misranking Caspa on Coin Market Cap. Well, why would they do that? Well, on Coin Gecko, it is correctly ranked at 41. That's a hell of a misrank, guys. That's not a slip up. That's not a couple of spots. That's a lot, and it's on purpose. But why? Well, we just told you why. Caspa is misranked on Coin Market Cap because Binance owns Coin Market Cap. Coinbase directly seed funded Caspa through polychain and binance is fudding caspa this is their way of hating on caspa the reason coin gecko doesn't is because it's not funded by either they are unbiased and they correctly rank stuff so because polychain aka coinbase directly funded the creation of caspa binance is shitting on caspa I'm not saying they're not ever going to list them, but I am saying they're not off to the races to list them. They will not be the first. It will be Coinbase or the one that no one else is talking about, Crypto.com. Now, Crypto.com is expensive. It can cost $3 million to get listed on Crypto.com. It just depends on the time of year. It just depends on what's going on. But the fact of the matter is exchanges don't ignore volume and volume brings money. And there's a lot of volume on crypto.com for projects with hype and Casper is only getting more and more hype so you can guarantee that binance will not be listing Casper first they want that volume too but they're going to hold Casper down as long as they can because it's holding 
Coinbase down as long as they can. Let me know what you guys think about that. That's just the brass tacks of it all, guys. There is no in-between. There's the facts. I showed you Caspa's website, Caspa Wiki, prehistory. Go look at it yourself, guys. This is very plain to see. You know, it's very ABC. And it sucks because that's just the way it is in this crypto market. But you can guarantee that Coinbase or Crypto.com will be the tier one exchanges that list Caspa first. Let me know what you guys think, guys. That's all I've got for the video. Uh, if you disagree, please let me know. You know, how do you think it'll play out? But give me your facts and interpretations also. I've given you mine. Give me yours. I'd love to read all the comments. I always do. Uh, please do give the video a like if you guys don't mind. And, uh, you know, let's see how this one plays out. But I, I, I think that no, no, no scenario is, is, is bad, right? Binance, Coinbase, Crypto.com, they're all nuclear. Um, I think it's a good thing that Crypto.com and Coinbase would come first, honestly, because a Binance follow-up listing that we will have to pay for, you know, I mean, you, you obviously Coinbase is going to list Caspa when the time is right. They paid for Caspa to even be created. Crypto.com, it's whether or not we get that one for free. They like volume. You know, I've seen them, I've seen them list some stuff that just blows my mind because it has insane volume. So let me know what you guys think. Until the next video, guys, you stay calm and make that money. I'll see you again.